In this video, we'll balance the equation Fe2SO4 3 plus NaOH. This is iron 3 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. It's a pretty intimidating looking equation to balance, but we're going to use a trick that'll make it a lot easier. So let's count the atoms up on both sides. We have two iron atoms, and here's the trick. We have sulfate here and sulfate here. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We're going to count this as just one item. So I have one sulfate ion times three. So I have three of those, one sodium, and this OH, we have it here and here. It's called the hydroxide ion. So we're going to count this as one thing. We have one hydroxide ion on the reactant side. On the product side, we have our one iron, one sulfate, two sodiums, and then three of these hydroxides. So that gives us a lot lower numbers. It makes it much easier to balance the equation. Let's just balance the iron first. We'll put a two here. One times two, that gives us two irons. So those are balanced, but this three times two, that'll give us six hydroxides. Why don't we balance the sulfates next? We could just put a three right here. So that'd be the one sulfate times the three, and those would be balanced. In the sodium, we'd have two times three. That would give us six sodium atoms. Looks like we could put a six in front of the sodium hydroxide. One times six, that balances the sodium atoms and then the one hydroxide times six, that balances the hydroxides and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see by counting these polyatomic ions, we have SO4 here and here, or the hydroxide OH here and here, that makes it a lot easier to balance. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.